Give all the praises and the honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem, Racha Ha Kwadash, and double honors to the elder apostles and the elder bishops of Great Millstone. Also, sincere shalom to you, other elders, and you, Akim, and you, um, other followers of the truth. And let me say shalom to the elect. Actually, I want to go in this video. This has been a doctrine that I've heard before. And I uh, went onto this person's page. His name is Dane Calloway. Okay, he bro always brings out some interesting information. <clears throat> but what happens is, when you got to keep the storyline going, then what happens is, each week or every month or every six months, you got to come up with some new, uh, you know, you got to come up with some new information. Now this is a shame. And trying to take the glory of the Hebrew Israelites of what happened to them. Because that's what's happening. Taking away everything that was done. That's like getting a serious punishment. And then you go back to the people who punished you. Or to the, let me say, the Most High who punished you. And then he says, well, there's no record of you ever being punished. When ultimately the Most High knows that we were punished. And he punished us. Right? So you're taking the power away and the credit away. Well, you're not taking the power, but you're taking the credit away from what the Most High set up. And this is the dangers of uh, these doctrines. And I, I'll go to prove further in this doctrine that there was slave ships. In fact, before we came into slavery as Israelites, Hebrews, there were slave ships. I have no idea where these doctrines come from but apparently they exist um, this is Ephesians 4 14 that we henceforth be no more children tossed to and fro and carried away and carried about with every wind of doctrine by the slate of men and cunning craftiness whereby, whereby they live that whether whereby, whereby they lie and wait to deceive. So they're sitting here thinking of a new way to come up with some new cunning craftiness to captivate an audience. And then you got everybody on the audience. I never knew that. It makes you think. Wow. As if I didn't look at it because he has a copyright infringement. So I, I didn't copy the actual video. But the video is called Why Slave Ships Never Existed. In history, neither did the correspond, correspond, corresponding stories. So then what happened? If that was the case, then how do we get in this situation? And he says we were already here, which the northern tribe was here and some of the southern. But then they got conquered. And you're going to tell me they didn't get conquered and taken when a people is conquered. For this not to be exactly true would mean that we would not be a conquered people. 
it's clear that there were slave ships. It's clear that there's ships and there's been ships for a very long time. So you have to say that ships don't exist in general. And we all know ships existed. And we all know when this man how he got down, when you got took slaves, you would take them across the waters. That's how it was. Why would you change the glory of our kingdom? Because this is what's going to bring in Usher in our kingdom. This history. Proving that we're the uh, bi uh, biblical people of the Bible. Deuteronomy 28 and 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. Egypt just means bondage. Which you can go to Exodus 20 and I believe 3. By the way whereof I speak unto thee. Thou shalt see it no more again. And there shall be that, there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. For bondmen and bondwomen. And no man shall buy you. Meaning redeem you. Like redeem your purchases. Right? So this is crazy. So I'm going to go to an article here. Um, we Where we teach, and this is another danger of why not getting out and getting uh, uh, proper understanding. Okay, where we teach, the USS Constellation comes to where we teach down in the Baltimore Harbor. Right? It, it still shows up there and it's uh, been... Um, uh, remodeled or whatever you want to call it refurbished remodeled okay the USS Constellation let me get to the point um, uh, let me see here I'm gonna try to get to the point they say she was built in Gosport shipyard between 1853 and 1855 and was named of the earlier uh, frigate of the same name frigate that had uh, been broken up in 1853. The sloop's primary uh, armament was eighth uh, 203 millimeter sh shell firing guns and four 32 pounders long guns. I'm just going to get to the point. Um, it says, though she carried all other guns and well included two Patriot Parrot rifle chase guns constellations career as a uh, frontline unit was relatively short after entering service in 1855 she served with the mediterranean squadron until 1858 and in 1859 she was uh, assigned as the flagship of the african squadron where she served with the african slave trade patrol during the American Civil War in 1861 and 1865. And see, this is the crazy thing about it. This was not that long ago. I mean, these people who are coming up with the slave ships never existed. You might as well say Christopher Columbus didn't exist. Uh, Magellan. Okay, this is why you have your GPS. And they have these navigators. They named it after these famous navigators right uh like where manny pacquiao is from um uh, where is he from manny pacquiao uh he's from uh the philippines uh after conquered by king philip which a lot of them were jakes as well that's why you can see a lot of the filipinos a good portion of them are israelites okay so it's a lot of information to go into. Um, there's a lot of information to go into uh, about this. Um, uh, was it slave ships or whatever? So I'm just going to try to again hit points. And I know this is Wikipedia, but I'll go to this other other uh, site as well. Her name was Red Redoshi. Okay, well she had several names. Um, was uh, 1848 to 1937 was a West African woman taken to the U.S. Uh, state of Alabama, and this guy clearly said that um, the 12 years of slavery was fake. I mean, this is crazy, man. Okay, as a girl in 1860, until later surviving uh, claimant Matilda McCreer was announced in 2001, 2020, 
she was considered to have been the last surviving victim of the transatlantic slave trade, taken captive in warfare at the age of 12 from the slave uh, coast of West Africa. She was sold to Americans and transported by ship to the United States in violation of U.S. law. And this is what 12 years of slavery is about. And then you might say, okay, this is Wikipedia. But you can go in further, further history. And this woman said it out of her own mouth. So they made that up. That was a fable too. Right? Um, so this woman also spoke. Um, well, let me go here. This woman also spoke um, where she said she spoke uh, Bantu. Well, she was, she was Bantu, which when you go uh, Bantu, that was they were speaking a dialect of Hebrew. Okay, she that was speaking a dialect of Hebrew, and that's what it said. Her, her native language would have been Bantu. So when you go to, uh, this is it all links in together. It all links. Um, when you go here, this article is called Bantu is Hebrew. I, I'm not going to read this whole thing. I'm just going to hit the, the point. Um, the Bantu languages, languages are dialect of ancient Hebrew. The root language of the Bantu dialect is the Igbo language of Nigeria. Right? And this also proves that why you have these uh, top athletes come out of Nigeria or, or basically the west parts of Africa. The uh, Igbo dialect being the source of the Bantu dialect is why the ancient Hebrew root word are predominantly seem to uh, seen in the Igbo dialect as opposed to other Bantu languages because you had different languages which had which have been affected from migration and colonization the revelations of the ancient Hebrew and Bantu dialect is evident in the fact that the Hebrews continued speaking the Hebrew Hebrew language throughout their captivity in the scripture even when they picked up the languages of their rulers by uh, evidence of Daniel writing in both Chaldean and Hebrew, while the apostle, apostles like Paul and John spoke both Greek and Hebrew. Also, during the siege of Jerusalem by the Romans in 70 AD, the Hebrews fled into Africa, again speaking the same Hebrew dialect. This is why there was a distinction between uh, one nation to the other nations, right? It was a distinction, right? Uh, and then you had the Arabs' involvement in the slave trade, and then you know we became a, a casualty as Hebrews because the Most High prophesied. It. So, slave ships is a prophecy, and it, and it mixes all together. There's proof, there's evidence, and, and this guy says there's no evidence of it. It's fake. So where do we go from there? These guys are set up for us to follow them now? After we crack the code, we put it all together, we're showing, okay, why we went into slavery, how this happened, when it happened, such and such. Now these guys are trying to take us 50 steps back, a, a thousand step, steps back. This is ridiculous, man. This is totally ridiculous. There's evidence and there's proof of slave ships and the Hebrews right they had a ship called good ship jesus and abigail and various other um uh deities or whatever you want to call it okay this, this is crazy and the lesson can go on and on going in you know into that of the you know how we came into slavery you know but it's all in the history books you know even though um, you know, you have people say, well, why would they want to put that in a history book? Because it's passed down. You know, you got people who, who love showing their um, dominance, uh, being conquerors. And this shows that we were broken people and the Lord allowed it. Anyway, I just wanted to touch on that. They, these are, it's just more and more crazy doctrine spewing out. And this is just another one. There is no slave ships. If you say there's no slave ships, then that means there's no slavery. You know, there's n nothing else. I, I don't know how you, 
I didn't watch the whole thing, and I wasn't going to watch the whole thing, because this was truly disturbing, you know, that someone would try to reverse the history of our history and our punishment that now the captivity is returning and uh, we are coming out of punishment that you have our own people that want to take us a hundred steps back and put us back in some form of captivity. That is crazy. But, you know, there's agents everywhere. That's all I have on that. Shalom.